What's up Bertini fam? Now let me show you what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be swapping out these ugly ass fender reflector light thingamabobbers on the front and on the rear. We're also gonna be swapping out these rear fog lights because I think those are the ugliest thing and I wish Mini Cooper didn't even put those on these cars, but I'm assuming that Mini, or not Mini Cooper, Mini, uh, put them on here for a reason. So I don't know the reason, but I don't like them. I think it would have just been better if it would have just been a plain old black thing here. And we're also gonna be switching out our rear taillights. If you have not yet clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and join the Bertini family and click that subscribe button right now. And you can also stay up to date on all of the content that I'm putting out. With that being said, go ahead and roll the intro. Now I will be including links in the description box below where you can purchase all of the lighting in this video from. Don't forget if you use code Bertini, you can get a discount on everything used in today's video. So check in the description box below for links to all of this stuff. They're nice. I really like this. All right, well, one side is done and that came out looking really good. It looks super, super subtle now. To be frank, I wish Mini Coopers didn't come with lights on the side flares now, but it's all good. At least temporarily, I'm gonna do this. I actually have a plan on replacing the side flares with some wide body ones. So you have to stay tuned in for a future episode on that, but at least temporarily, so I don't have to look at the yellow or the red and the yellow here in the front, this is gonna do and it's a super cheap upgrade to do. Like it, it's not super expensive and it comes out really, really nice. As you can see here, now it has a really sleek look, especially with the side markers that we did in the previous episode. It looks really sleek from this side now. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on the other side and get that one done. And then we'll move on to the rear section of the Mini Cooper.
All right, now the passenger side is finished now too. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the two rear fog lights. All right, so something you didn't see on camera because it was just too big of a pain to get, but I do wanna explain it. Basically, I had to loosen these screws. I had to get a little bit under the car and just depress or depress on these clips right here to push it out a little bit. It's not, it's not too bad. Overall, if I wasn't filming, it would probably take me like three or four minutes to do this whole job here. Um, but yeah, that's how you remove it. And then in terms of the new one, they're the exact same thing. Like I said, I'll put links in the description box below. Make sure to use code Bertini. This way you can save some money on these things. Now, before I put these in, I'm gonna go ahead and clean around this trim area just so it's nice and clean since we have it off. And then we'll go ahead and install it. By the way, something that I wanted to point out about these rear fog lights that I struggled with finding online is everywhere online that I looked, it had said that these do not fit the 2020 model Mini Cooper JCW. I took a chance, I ordered them, and sure enough, they do fit. So for those websites out there who say they don't fit, you guys probably should revise what these fit and what these don't fit because these definitely fit a 2020 Mini Cooper JCW. Any model with this rear diffuser that looks like this, it definitely is going to fit, clearly. It fits perfectly. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and move over to doing the taillights now. All right, so here's the taillights I decided to go with. Now, one thing I do wanna talk about really quickly because after doing a lot of research, I found out that not all of these things are made equal. So I did find a set of these on Amazon and it turns out that they use different um, lenses, different kinds of lenses. Uh, even though they all say DOT approved, they're not the same type of lens that the factory one uses and for me it was really important that if I'm going to replace the factory ones I want something that is super high quality and that's where these come into play these are literally using the same materials that the OEM ones use and so when you see ones online that are like $300 or even $200 I found out that those are not the exact same quality it's not the exact same parts the ones that I'm going to link in the description box below are equivalent to OEM quality. And so that's really important because if you're looking for something that's not gonna leak on you, have any issues, or this glass break at any point in time, and that is in fact DOT approved, you're gonna wanna make sure that you go with the ones that I'm providing in the description box below. This way you can ensure that you are getting the highest quality version of these. If you find these for any less than $400 USD, chances are they do not use the same materials that are equivalent to the OEM versions. Obviously it's up to you if you take the gamble. I did a lot of research online and I found out that a lot of people have used the cheaper ones and some people say they have had great results with them for me this is already a very expensive vehicle I'm not gonna go ahead and put a cheap part or a part that I think is gonna break on me on an almost $50,000 vehicle so for me it's just worth going and spending the extra money and getting a good quality part that I know is at least equivalent to OEM if not better with that all being said let's go ahead and remove out the factory ones and go ahead and replace them with these aftermarket ones
what a dramatic difference that made switching out the tail light from red to black. Before I do that, let's go ahead and switch out the right side now and get everything buttoned back up. Now something you are gonna notice is the rear fog lights are not gonna come on because I have not programmed those to come on. I don't actually want them to come on. And so they're not gonna come on. Yeah, baby, yeah! Something I noticed, by the way, is these lights, I guess because they're LED, they are much, much brighter than the factory ones. Same goes with these, the LED strip. <laughs> these things are much, much, much brighter than the factory ones. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know that these mods were super simple to do. If it wasn't for filming, you could probably do all of these lights in less than an hour and the aesthetics that it changes on the vehicle makes a huge, huge difference in the appearance. And like I mentioned before, if you're interested in buying any of the lights that I put on this vehicle or any of the mods that I put on this vehicle, make sure to check out the links in the description box below and use code Bertini to get a little bit of a discount. With that being said, stay tuned in for my next video. Make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. This way you can know every single time I put out a new video on my channel and you could join the Bertini fam. Most importantly, make sure you're putting good energy out there into the world and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.